So when I was about 13 or 14, I really started to get into bass fishing. It was kind of like right around the time I started making videos too. And I didn't have a boat. I didn't even have like a kayak or canoe. So a lot of my fishing missions were based upon the shore. So what I would do oftentimes like before and after school is I would take my bike fishing. It was like the only way that I could get around to the local ponds. Bike bass missions became kind of like the sole purpose as to why I was able to fish so much because a lot of the lakes were pretty spread out where I used to live when I was like 13, 14, and even 15 years old. So in today's video, I'm going to throw it back a bit and we are going to do a bike bass mission. Since I've got my boat, since I've you know moved to Texas, I really haven't done one of these type of videos in quite some time and I'm on this New England trip right now fishing all over. It'd be kind of cool to explore some Google Map ponds on the bike. One of the reasons why I'm also on my bike too is because my truck has not made it to Massachusetts yet so I'm, uh, I'm limited to my, my uh, sources of transportation but this is going to be cool. I'm fishing some fresh water today. I've never even heard of them. I literally picked them out on Google Maps this morning so I'm pretty stoked, pretty pumped. Anyway, just uh, stick with it, stay tuned and enjoy. Eat. All right, I'm getting pretty close. This isn't too bad, honestly. It's like a two mile ride on the bike. We are eight minutes away. Just a little heads up, we are on the outskirts of Boston. We're on the prowl for some bass. Smallmouth, largemouth, maybe some pickerel, crappie, bluegill, literally anything. Like, who am I kidding? I'll catch anything today. I've been uh, cooped up waiting for the boat and the truck to come. The boat finally came, but in order to pull the boat, you need the truck, so that's next. But I figured this would be a cool mission to go on today, seeing as I've got some free time and the urge to go crank some fish. This is beautiful. Look at this. This is incredible back here. Oh, wow. Yeah, it should be there, right? So I cross this. I'm going to take it almost there. I think we're almost here. What? There's a get. Oh, no. Uh-uh. No. You're joking. This can't be for real. What is this hubble up? Well, this sucks. It's all pads too. I didn't bring any freaking jigs. All right, <laughs> jigs. I didn't bring any frogs. This isn't good. Probably should have done some more research. No trespassing public water supply, city of Cambridge. <sighs> Bomber. Where the hell am I gonna fish? Oh, I biked all this way for nothing. Probably should have done some more homework before I biked all the way here, but uh, I guess this, this is pretty private. I'm usually fairly ambitious and sometimes bend the rules, but in this case, I'm I'm out of state here. I don't want to piss any locals off. Plus, it doesn't even really look that amazing. Like, it looks okay. It'd be really heartbreaking if that down there looked like primo waters, but it looks pretty stale. I don't know. I mean, there is some stuff moving down there. It's so tempting. Why? <laughs> Why? Not all hope is lost here. I found an alternative about 14 minutes away. It's the Charles River. I've heard of this place. I do know it has fish in it. And there's this fatty dam right here with a big old spillway and a bunch of running water, which usually is a, is a home run in the summertime. It's like cooler water, more oxygen. So we're gonna check that out. This was a bust. I don't, I don't think this was a good idea, but this hopefully is much better. All right, let's get back on this bike and head that way. Okay, so I've landed at the Charles River right now in Waltham, right near like some sort of big dam. I'm looking for moving water right now. Anything that looks good on Google Maps is probably something that I'm going to fish. Yeah, I think this is gonna work. It's totally public, I don't have to worry about getting booted. So I'm gonna grab some lures out of this bag and get rigged up and let's just start fishing. I've been biking all day, I need to, I need to make a cast. Spot number one. Okay, oh, it smells like shit down here, nice. And we're here, water looks low. Looks really low. I'm gonna start off with this uh, bullshad, the baby BS. Try this out. Oh, wow, something's already on it. I am not kidding you. Something is already on that bait. It was little. It's like a little bluegill or something, but something was chasing that. Oh, it was so sick. This just came up and lit that swim bait up. It was a little bass, but it was still a fish. Okay. Oh, this looks okay. This looks 
better than normal-ish. I don't know, we'll see. This water's cr so clear though. You'd think it'd just be chock full of fish with how clear it is. Oh, there's three fish. Oh my God, I had something. Oh, oh, that was a fish. I don't know what that was, but he came up and chomped it. I actually had a bite. This is a big moment. Oh my God, too much grass. There's so much grass, my God. Man, I have honestly been struggling so hard to find like fishable water. I know that kind of sounds stupid, but like a lot of this river, at least the upper part of the Charles is just, it's shallow, it's choked with grass. I mean, it looks good otherwise though. It's like clear, there is vegetation, there's rock. I am seeing some bluegill, but other than that, it's, it's, it seems void of any sort of like small mouthy or large mouthy uh, water. Anything right now, anything, I'll take it. Doesn't matter how big or small. So I'm just kind of trying to work these weed pockets with this baby bull shad, see if I can get something to come up. It really is a perfect lure for the scenario. That's just a big fat bummer. There's one, I'm on, yes, that's a fish. Get in here. What is this? Oh my God, what is this? <laughs> what do I have? What the hell is this thing? Oh, it's a long ear. Oh, no sh that's awesome. Can you guys see this? Is it too dark? Check it out. First fish of the day. This is also another species for my collection list as I continue throughout the Northeast. So I've gotten a small mouth, which you guys probably saw in the last episode. And then in this one, we're starting the day off with a long ear, which is such a unique fish. Very cool. Oh, something just jumped. We'll get him unhooked. He fell victim to that uh, bull shad. So funny, a fish this tiny chases after something that it's meant to imitate. <laughs> there you have it. So sick. You gotta start somewhere. This little fish is a stepping stone to the rest of today's bite. Okay, let's keep going. I knew I could get something out of here. This looks way too good. Like, I mean, look at this. So picturesque. All right, I'm gonna keep moving down. I'm gonna keep booling down. Oh, dude, look at this. This turtle's looking right at me. Do you guys see that? There he is, his nose is right there. It is enormous. Look, he's coming up. That thing is old, like very old. Look at him, oh my God, dude. He's like looking at my fingers. Oh, he wants it, he wants it. This is so sick. I'm losing my mind right now. Dude, that is an enormous turtle. That is the craziest thing I've ever seen. He like literally was reacting to my fingers. Like he wanted to come up and take a bite. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, quick little time check for you guys. It is, what time is it? What time is it? Drum roll, please. It's 1.51, which means we are nearing that 2 p.m. mark. Hopefully, once the clock strikes 2 p.m., I can figure my life out, and maybe I'll get lucky enough to catch a fish. I've been going hard since, I think, like 9 a.m., and I've fished pretty much what feels like the whole Charles River. I am legitimately maybe 10 miles away from downtown Boston at this point. Like, I just keep going down river, but I think the, the move here is to try something new. I also just learned that there's smallmouth in here too, so I'm now like 100 times more excited to, to fish this, but like I said, it's tough. I don't know if I just suck at New England fishing or this place is actually hard. Yeah, it's, it's not going completely as planned, but we're not giving up, we're persevering. No, oh, who's taking you home, home, home? Oh, oh that water is freezing cold. Why is it so cold? Maybe that's why they're not biting. Oh my God, this is like ice. It feels like spring. Holy nutsickles, that is some cold ass water. Let's see if there's something over here. This spot looks pretty tasty. A little bit of depth, maybe some bait. I don't know if those fish are in that heavy of a car. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. There's like a two pound bass just right there. He's literally like right there. Oh my God, he just tried to eat the lure. He just, no, I'm snagged. What the f what the f this is so f***ed up. There is a bass, right? Oh my God, there we go, there we go. I'm good, I'm good. Eat it. This bass is like sickly. I think he's like ready to die. He is not spooked by me at all. He just tried to go for my swim bait. Oh, I had him, I had him. Oh my God, I freaking had him, no way. 
No way. I freaking had him. I freaking had this fish. No. <laughs> I'm going to cry. I just freaking lost my first fish of the day. That was such a good bass. That was like such a give me fish. Like, I should have caught that thing. He's still there. I legitimately hooked this fish and he hasn't moved. I'm an idiot. Oh my God. <laughs> I think I just spooked everyone on their walk. That was so intense. I wonder if the GoPro caught that because that was like, that was, re that was just stupid. First of all, I don't know if you guys know this, but I haven't seen a single bass all day. So for that to happen, is just like such bullshit. <laughs> if he ate it again, I'd lose my mind. No, he doesn't give a shit now. Oh my God, that was so cool. <sighs> That was the closest I've gotten to a fish all damn day. On the baby bullshad too, that would have been so gnarly. I'm gonna switch to a little Rattle and Ned. It's like one of those baits that just never seems to fail. It's apparent that these fish are being tough. I think honestly a lot of the tough bite has to do with the fact that there was a cold front that rolled in last night. It got down to like, I think 53 degrees Fahrenheit. Probably shocked these fish and kind of put them away for a bit. Like that fish I just hooked there, that was the weirdest thing ever. Like I hooked it once, he didn't even move. I threw back at him three times, missed him completely, and then he came back for it. It's just weird, like these fish aren't acting right today. So we're gonna toss in that in there. See if maybe that has a, an effect on them. Rather than that, check this out. I love these things so much. Listen to that. That's gonna get bit. Hundo Pete. Game time. Just gonna rig it like so. Such an easy way to catch finicky fish. Such an easy way. Done. That's smallmouth ready. Let's go get one. How deep is this? Oh, not that deep at all. I could cross this, no problem. Here we go. Oh, do it for the smallies. Gotta get to that dam right there. Almost, almost there. Come on. Come on. Oh, now I'm soaked. Thank God I wore pants today. You know, that made a lot of sense. Oh my God, I'm on. That's a big fish. That's a good fish. I'm on. Yes. Yes. What is it? What is it? Large mouth. Yes. It worked. I just had to keep fishing, keep rolling. Nice little large mouth on the baby bullshit. I was about to put this away and throw like a, a, uh, a banger or something like that, like a crankbait. But I just know how effective the swim bait is. It's just, it gets them even when the bite's tough. First bass of the day. I will take it. That is a good feeling. This fish is huge. Not in a literal sense, but just, it means that we're, we're doing good. I like it. Back you go, guy. Sweet. Oh my God, that's a nice one. I got another one, another fish. I think it's a smallmouth. That's a smallie. Oh my God, he's barely hooked. He's barely hooked. Come here. Yes, we got a smallmouth. Yes, dude, no way. No freaking way. <laughs> that is a beautiful fish on the swim bait. Dude, that was so sick. It's so funny. All it took was just moving to a completely new spot that had some fish in it. And here they are. I had no idea this river even had smallmouth up until like a few moments ago and I did some research. Just like that, five casts can change the whole momentum of the day. First a large mouth, now this beautiful little smallie. I'm gonna get him back in the water. Back he goes. <laughs> that was so cool. I'm literally just taking this swim bait, this little bull shad, and I'm throwing it right in that white water or that foam. A lot of times fish will sit right under that. They'll literally use the foam as like an ambush point. When bait rolls down off of that dam, it's like an easy meal for these fish. It's basically like a conveyor belt. So I'm trying to get that swim bait as close to that foam as I can. I'm just slowly reeling it back to my feet, waiting for a fish to come up and eat it. So cool, man. It was like such a perfect scenario. All right, here we go. Game time. Wow, that was really quick. I'm on. Fish. Oh, smallmouth. Another smallie. No way. That's a smallie. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Do not come off. Do not come off. Yes. This is crazy, you guys. Wow, okay. Not only is this cool that I just caught a smallmouth, but you have to realize I, I like basically went up the river a ton. Like I'm probably two miles up from where I caught my original fish at. And I didn't think there'd be any smallmouth up here just because of all the dams. Like these dams keep fish from progressing up the Charles River, at least in my knowledge, at least. But I, apparently that's not the case because there's more smallmouth up here. I always thought that this was like straight largemouth territory. Nice little smallie on the rattling nud. Hell yeah, dude. So cool, man. I don't even care how big they are today. It's just fun to get hooked up. Man, that's intense. I'm gonna send him on his way. 
taxi, man. There's one. Yes! What is that? Smalley! He's all messed up though. <laughs> what the heck? Dude, what the, what is going on here? Dude, you're all jacked up, buddy. Smalley, hell yeah. They're not very big in this creek, but I mean, they're here. They're so little. Look how tiny he is. All right, my guy, see ya. Smalley. What the hell do I have? I got something. What is this? Oh God, relax. It's a blue gill. It's a gill blue. Oh no, it's another long ear. Hell yeah. Titties. Another long ear sunfish. You're a little long ear sunfish. <laughs> See you guy. This is it. Last cast of the day. It's right around 4 p.m. The bites definitely slowed down. Yeah, I don't know. I think the small ones don't like me anymore. So this is it, last cast. I'm gonna make this one count. I'm gonna fully zing this one. You ready? Here we go, here we go, here we go. One, two, and three. Come on, Schmedley. Ooh, I just got bit. No way. Oh my God, I just got bit. Dead serious. And that right there is a wrap. We are going to end today's video where we started right at the first dam on the Charles River. Outside of the fact that we didn't absolutely rake him and shake him, I really enjoyed fishing a completely brand new New England waterway. The Charles River is really cool. We caught some smallmouth, we caught some long ear, and we even snuck in the first New England largemouth of this little uh, northeastern scent. Don't sweat, I'm not gonna be creek fishing throughout this entire month, but this is just to kind of keep me busy while I'm waiting on my truck and my boat to get established up here. So let me know if you guys liked today's video. If you did, be sure to give this video a fatty thumbs up or three fatty thumbs up, just completely make my day. And then also subscribe and uh, check back for more uploads as I will be filming a lot over the next month. Yeah, I'm just excited to bring this content for you guys. I'm excited to learn about this place for the first time. Anyway, I'm peacing out, signing out. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, folks, keep fishing. Never stop.